Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. If you're new here and I post videos on Tuesdays and normally Fridays, the last few Fridays I was not able to get one up, but you know, I normally do post on Fridays. <laughs> um, and I post a few different type of videos. Every other Tuesday I do book commentary videos and then on the Tuesdays I'm not doing book commentary, I do just random videos, kind of like the Friday videos, which are normally just random. Today we're doing a, um, eyeshadow tutorial with nothing new and I'm going back in with the Blend Bunny Cosmetics All Done Up palette. I really love this palette. I use it quite frequently and the only row I have not used in its entirety is this taupe gray brown type row. So I'm going to be using that today and doing a look with that and then I also think I'm going to incorporate in um, my one a shimmer shade or two from my Pastel Roses single shadows that I ordered um, at the beginning of November. So I think I'm going to use this blue one. Um, I'll link, I'll write in the description box everything I use, so I'll write which one that is specifically, but it's a blue and it has like a green pink shift to it, um, if I remember correctly from my swatches. So yes, I'm going to probably incorporate that in today, but that's what we're doing today. I hope you subscribe if you like the content and it, tune into old videos and new videos. And yeah, so we will get started. So this is a tutorial, so I'll kind of explain what I'm doing as we go along. But I also think I'm just going to kind of talk about some of my goals for 2023. I can't believe it's 2023 already. <laughs> um, I feel like 2022 flew by. I was pregnant in 2022 and... Um, it flew by and I'm really sad because I really did enjoy being pregnant. I liked being pregnant. I felt beautiful and I just loved the whole experience and it's really sad. It's like over and you know, the year just flew by. It went by so quickly. So I just used Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and Original. I always use this. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to take a detailed kind of like a small tapered blending brush. I have Luxie brushes. Um, so this is the brush. It is a 231 and I'm going to dip into Goddess which is the deepest shade in this row and I'm going to put just a little bit of that in the inner corner and then in the outer corner. We're going to do kind of like a halo type situation but there will be shimmer on the inner and outer too but anyways. So that's why I said kind of like a halo. I'm just taking a little bit because these are so pigmented but they blend really easily. Anyways. So, yeah, I can't believe it's 2023 already. Um, it's just shocking me. I'm just packing that in and then doing light little blending motions. I'll do the same in the outer corner as well. Um, I do have a few goals for 2023. I started this YouTube channel in 2022. And when did I start? May, June-ish? I think I posted my first video in June. But I did like filming in May. Hmm. I can't remember. Sometime around that time though is when I started. And I had wanted to start a YouTube channel for years. Um, and I had the idea of doing like book commentary and makeup at the same time. Because I hadn't really seen it around. And I had had the idea over five years ago. But I never. Um, like I don't think. I just didn't do anything with it. I was too nervous to start. Which. You know, it is what it is. But I think there are a few people now that do have channels like that. But, um, yeah. So, I finally just was like, I'm going to do it. Just because I've always, like, I had the idea years ago. And I always wanted to do it. And I just never did. Um, so, I started the channel. And I've been having a lot of fun. I do it kind of just for me. And also, I wanted to start it because I thought it would be kind of like a good lesson for my daughter for in the future like even if something scares you or you're not totally sure but it's something that you are really drawn to do and passionate to do like just do it and learn as you go and like it'll be all right so um yeah so I started it and I've really been enjoying it so one of my goals is to just continue to post content, maybe even try to post more content, um, which is hard with an infant, um, but try to post even more content 
especially in my Instagram. I don't do very well on my Instagram, um, which is in the description box down below. I sometimes even forget to post like that I have a video that is live. Um, so I, I want to try to do better with that. I want to try and post more content, do better at doing things. Also maybe create content for Instagram that doesn't even like revolve around the YouTube channel and just do like looks even just for Instagram just because you know I just want to do better at doing that and I would like for my channel to grow and you know have more people watching the content but it's not necessarily like a huge goal just because I am happy with how things are going and I know it's hard to grow channels anymore with how much content there is out there and I also was just doing this for me you know something fun something for me to do um, and I really love makeup and something for me to like use my makeup for um, and also just to get me to pull out my makeup more frequently and actually like do my makeup um, because I would get you know like periods where I wouldn't really even pull it out and hardly use it and I just have too much makeup to do that with like not use it um, it's quite a waste of you know products and things so I would like to just make even more content this year and do better at putting content out on Instagram um, and you know it would be fun to see my channel grow just because you know you do put a lot of time into making these videos so it would be nice to know that like people are watching them and enjoying them and they're not just you know like sitting there but at the same time it's okay if they are just sitting there because I'm doing it for me like I try not to look at like the engagement and the numbers and stuff like that just because I'm just putting out content that I think other people would watch content that I like to watch I like long form content I like videos that are really long um, you know I just that's just what I like so I'm putting out similar videos I know I would watch and I just hope I attract some people to the channel that also enjoy that type of stuff and you know will enjoy it and actually like engage with the videos so I don't know if that makes sense kind of just rambling but I would like to just grow my channel a little bit but mainly just focus on actually like posting more content this year because you know it gets hard especially with an infant like I said like to remember to post even like that I have a new video up I'll sometimes even forget to like put that on my Instagram so I'm just wanting to do a little bit more content do better at like promoting myself and my channel a little bit hold on my husband is sending me a message so I better check make sure he doesn't need anything <laughs> took our daughter grocery shopping and she is not even attempting to sleep so <laughs> okay um so the next shade I'm going to take is Transform, which is the mid-tone shade in this row. And I'm just going to blend that into the crease. So it's blending the edges of this shade and blending it into the crease a little bit. So, um, yeah, so let's get going with that. And, yeah, so that's one of my goals is to do the creating more content, um, and just promoting my channel and myself a little bit more and a little bit better but at the same time I have a goal of not being on my phone as much <laughs> so those are kind of fighting against each other but like I'm gonna do the content posting and creating but I don't want to be on my phone like all of the time like I want to get off of it and I feel like you know when you're doing YouTube you kind of feel this need to be on your phone quite a bit to see like what's new and what people are doing and like you know you just have this I don't know I feel like there's a need and kind of like a thought process that you need to do that and everything and that's fine 
but I still just want to be on my phone less and kind of more in the moment, enjoying more family time, um, enjoying the time with my daughter and, you know, just being more present, I feel. I already am, you know, present, but I just want to feel more because I feel like I'm just not enough, you know, like I'm not doing it enough or doing a good enough job, which I know I am, but I don't feel like I am, so I want to, I just want to do better, and I feel like we can always do better, so that's another goal that I have, so I'll give my channel and my Instagram more love and do better at posting, but at the same time, just try to be on my phone less. So those are two of my goals <laughs> uh, that I have for this year. And I don't normally set goals, um, like New Year's goals, just because I feel like they get broken pretty easily and then it can be kind of discouraging. So I try not to set New Year's goals and I try to just start goals anytime throughout the year that I have a thought process like or thought or desire to do something. I don't usually like save the goal or try to start new goals at the beginning of the year just because I do feel like they get broken easier, pushed to the side because there's so much going on and you know you're trying to set all these goals for yourself and it's like all at once and you know it can get difficult and overwhelming so yeah I don't normally do that but I have a few this year that I was thinking of towards the end of the year anyways so I'm just going to kind of incorporate them in as like a new year's goal um but they were goals I was thinking of anyways that I wanted to start so yeah, so there's that one. So the less phone time, growing the channel, kind of just blending these together. I always think this side looks better than this side. It's just, it is what it is. But that looks nice. So now I'm just going to take another little fluffy brush. And I'm going to take natural, which is the lightest shade here. And I'm just going to use that to blend kind of the edge of transform, which is that mid-tone shade. Um, and just make sure everything is blended and pretty and nice. Just like that, just buffs it out so nicely. Like, that just looks so much better. Oh boy, someone outside delivering packages. Hope my dog doesn't see that she will go nuts she does not like she's like she's the cranky lady the cranky old lady of the block she just barks at everyone she sees outside like no one is allowed to be outside basically she barks at all of the delivery people she barks at all of the kids she barks at just anybody that's out there walking or doing anything she does not want anyone out there anywhere near our home, basically. So, that is her. She's funny. Just taking a little bit more of that mid-tone shade and adding it kind of back to the side. Just because it seemed like it, I buffed it away maybe a little too much on this side. But like I said, I always like this side better because it always looks better and doesn't seem to do that. Like I, like it doesn't buff away the same. So I think it's just my eye shape being slightly different. So the colors always look different and it ends up just looking different no matter how I blend it. So. I think that's pretty good. That's where we're going to leave it. So now I'm going to take Starlet, which is the shimmer shade down here. And it's like this grungy gold, but it kind of has like a little bit of a green tint to it. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to put that on the inner part here on top of the dark shade that we used first, the darkest shade. So I'm going to take just a little bit of that 
on the very inner and then on the very outer corner as well. And I'm just using my pinky to use like the smallest amount and to make sure that this doesn't go like overboard and go where I don't want it to go. Um, so that looks pretty. Kind of just make sure that they're all tapped out and blended. And you can see like the depth still coming through from the dark shade that we put down first, but it's lightened up a little bit with the shimmer on top of it. But this is a grungier, darker shimmer, so it is still gonna have um, some depth to it. So just lightly tapping and blending. And I always just use my finger for shimmers. I don't, I like never use a brush. I just, I like the way that they apply with the finger. Um, I just feel like you get, you know, all the sparkles and shimmery and, you know, but if you apply with a brush, um, you know, you can get a little bit more precise, which for some looks you do want, and I have done that before, but I just prefer to use the finger because I feel like you get the most payoff, but when you do want to be more precise, definitely use like a brush and use like a glitter primer even if the shimmer is not a glimmer glitter it will um just keep it in place a little bit better so that's on the inner and outer now and it looks pretty nice and blended and just grungy looking i love but now we're going to throw in a pop of color with this because i thought it would be fun so we are going to grab this shimmer shade right here again these are my single shadows from the pastel roses and it's like a blue you can see this blue has a strong pink reflect this one when I swatched it if I remember correctly it had like a pink but also green and stuff in it um, but I can't really remember because I haven't used it on the lid yet so we will see how it kind of looks um, on the eye but when I swatch it like on my finger, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see like green and purple and blue. I don't know if that's coming through on the camera. But I can definitely see like a purple, some green, some blue. So I think that would be pretty. So we're just gonna tap that in the center of the lid. Just kind of bringing a pop of color to this look and just making it a little bit different, a little fun. And I'm taking a little bit of that and kind of going over the edge here on the front and the, the front of the lid and the bottom, back of the lid. <laughs> My gosh, I can't even think of the word I want to use. And just making sure that that middle shade is blended in to the shimmer shades that's on the edges here. Um, and then you can take a clean finger and just tap over the edges just to make sure it's fully blended. That's what I normally do. And I'll just look at it in a closer mirror here to make sure. Yep, this shade's really pretty. So it's coming off like a strong, um, like it looks more of the pink purple right now. But then when I turn my head, like I can see the blue shift to it. So that looks really pretty. And I just like it, like this random bright pop of color with these grungy tones. I just think it looks really pretty. So we'll do the same on this side, just taking a little bit and just slowly packing it on, tapping it over the edges of the other shimmer shade. And if you ever do this and you feel like you dragged the um, middle shade that you're adding too far to the front or the back here. Um, you can always tap back into the first shimmer that we put down on the inner and outer corners and um, you know like reapply it to make sure that it's still there and still like a part of the look and a primary shade um, in the look. So I've done that before where I accidentally 
put too much of the middle shade and overtook the ones we added first and yeah you usually have to just add a little bit back okay that looks really pretty and you can see like the shift and I went pretty far over on the outer corners but you can definitely still see the grungy goldy green shade on the outer corner so I'm gonna leave it like that because I like it um, like that so I'm gonna go off I'm gonna do my base and everything else mascara off camera and I will be back to zoom in and show you the finished look and we will be done okay I am back and my base is all done I'm not gonna put anything on the lower lash I just don't really feel like it today and I don't do it with every look I just don't so I thought for the inner corner I'm kind of debating so within um, the blend bunny palette there's this shade called shine I really love it it's like a um, bright light um, white shade but it has like green reflect to it and I have a shade that is also um, like a white with green reflect um, in my single shadows from the pastel roses so I think I'm actually gonna swatch these two shades next to each other to see kind of what they look like and then maybe use one of those as my inner corner um, I also have a white shade from the pastel roses that has a green and pink shift to it so Maybe I'll swatch that as well just to kind of show the differences between these three and then pick one as my inner corner. So this is Shine um, by Blend Bunny. So you can see it's like a white but has a nice green reflect. Really pretty and bright. Um, that's what it looks like kind of like on the finger. So that's that one um you know kind of like a more of like a minty green and then this shade by the pastel roses which this one actually so it's the white base but this one has more of a lime green reflect to it and it also has a little bit of pink so you can see this one is lighter, has more of like a minty green. This is more of like lime green shift. And on the hand, I don't think it's picking up on camera, but in person, you can actually see it almost also shifts like a little pink, but it's not really picking up on the camera. So that's those two. Like on the finger, I wonder if you can see it. It's like, green and then it shifts pink not sure if you can see it but I didn't realize it shifted pink until just now um, and then there's this shade what does this one look like so this one is not as green this is another one from the pastel roses um, I'm trying to swatch a little bit better because I swatched it kind of funky. So this one is not as green. Um, let it kind of focus. So it's more of a white base, kind of like the one from um, Blend Bunny. But I don't think it's picking up in camera. But this one also has green and pink reflect to it. But it's not that like lime green. And it has more of white, like more white in it. So I'm trying to decide what I want on the inner corner. I'm kind of looking at it in a mirror as well, the reflect to kind of see. Hmm. I think I'll just do the shine shade just because it's something that if you have this palette, you have access to that one as well. And then if you don't have, you know, single shadows like these, or you have single shadows, but maybe you don't have this exact, like, blue, purple, pink shifting one, I mean, you can just use whatever you want. And if you wanted this to be a more neutral look, you could just use um, Starlet all over, or you could even, um, like, dip into a um 
you know a different neutral palette that you have and pull out like a like a champagne color um and that would keep this look more neutral if you don't like or don't want the pop of color that I did um but if you do like the pop of color just any type of pretty like blue purpley shimmer shade will kind of give you this effect if you don't have the exact same shade as me which I'll list it down below so um so I just use shine which is from the all done up palette as the highlight in the inner corner just so that way you have the same thing so I'll zoom in and show you the look zooming so this is the look nothing on the lower lash line inner corner has the shine shade which is that more of a minty green reflect to it and then we just have the taupe shades in the crease on the inner and outer corners and um, just kind of smoked out then we have the ooh, knock the lip gloss over the starlet shade is what's on the inner and outer corner from the palette that grungy gold with a little bit of like a green almost bronze color to it um and then the center shade is um i'll list it below because i don't know the name i think it's dreamscape but i'm not totally sure and i think it does normally reflect green but it's not really pulling through but it's a blue with like purple and pink reflect coming through at the moment so hopefully that's picking up on camera because it looks really pretty and it just gives it a bright pop of color so yeah that's the look i hope you guys enjoy again i'll list everything i use in the description box down below and i hope you guys subscribe and tune in to future content and i will see you next week thanks bye